the entrance, Antoine. Your merciful love, O oh God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O oh God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he built. The more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false. Now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillar. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the waters. The high places of Aven shall be destroyed. The sin of Israel, it thorns and thistles shall overgrow their altars. Then they shall cry out to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall upon us. So for yourselves, justice. Reap the fruit of piety. Break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain down justice upon you. The word of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds, glory in his holy name, rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength, seek to serve him constantly, recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, 
his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon, called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The gospel of the Lord. We hear about the call of the 12 apostles from Matthew's gospel. And Jesus sends them out telling them not to go into pagan territory or Samaritan town, but to go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and proclaim the kingdom of God is at hand. We too, through our confirmation, are sent out to announce the gospel, to announce the kingdom of God. And we are to go to those that we meet. We are to go to especially those who aren't active in the church, those maybe who are far away or who have fallen away from the practice of the church, to ask for God's grace in their lives that they might respond to his grace and they might say yes to, to him. Ours is the opportunity to announce the gospel and to pray. Pray for other persons and ourselves that we will always seek the face of the Lord. Seek his face in the word of God. Seek his face in the Eucharist. Seek his face in the church and in other persons. that the church and her leaders may effectively call all who are burdened to come to Christ, in whom they will find true rest. We pray to the Lord. For all who have been made ill by the coronavirus, for all who care for them, and for the governments and the people of the world, that we may experience the healing mercy of the Lord. We pray to the Lord that Christians who serve us in government may place their loyalty to Christ above every political and personal loyalty, we pray to the Lord. 
For all who find life burdensome because of a pregnancy they feel they cannot handle, that they embrace Christ and know his strength, we pray to the Lord. For all who are facing difficult decisions, that the Holy Spirit may give them wisdom and courage, we pray to the Lord. For favorable weather and moisture during the growing season, we pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, for Beatrice Estrada, and for our own intentions, united with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, we add in silence. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear and grant these prayers if it is your will and for our good. We ask these prayers in union with the Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, 
Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. If you would please kneel, we'll have exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. O saving victim, opening wide the gate of heaven to and below. Our foes press on from every side. Thine hate supply, thy strength bestow. Do thy great name be endless praise. And one in three, I toss my hands, shall not end in our truth. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me. That with your saints, I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>